Well, day 12 of December, and here are the results of what happened last night on SmackDown Live. Let's take a look at the results of what transpired last night on SmackDown Live. I mean, SmackDown Live began when Daniel Bryan making a real hell of a statement about his new attitude and refer to himself as the new Daniel Bryan and put put an end to his yes movement because the Daniel Bryan yes movement is dead and that's why he won the WWE Champion last month before Survivor Series well before when he had a WWE Championship match against AJ Styles on Sunday at TLC he went one on one against the against one of the two oh five live superstars, the heart and soul Mustafa Ali. And we all remember Mustafa Ali at on two oh five live that comes on Wednesdays now and not on Tuesdays. We've seen Mustafa Ali's inverted 450 splash but it didn't work but we did see this move but unfortunately Daniel Bryan does add insult to injury to the leg of Mustafa Ali and, he, and winning the match and then he assaulted him even more after the match well on Sunday that could be a perfect example for AJ Styles yeah, because on Sunday is the rematch for the WWE Championship. It was AJ Styles against Daniel Bryan for the WWE Champion. Moving on. And also, uh, the Bar and the Usos have a rap battle, but then it ended in a chaos. Well, on Sunday, it's Sheamus and Cesaro defending their SmackDown Tag Team Champions against the New Day and the Usos. And Sheamus does have a history making moment at TLC when he won his first WWE Championship against John Cena in a tables match. I'll talk about that tomorrow, but not today, right now. Moving on. And The Miz and Shane McMahon teamed up to take on local competitors and that's the Vegas boys. And only this time, Shane McMahon and The Miz are victorious. Because last time when they teamed up against the local competitors, well, they emerged victorious. The local competitors, but not Shane McMahon and The Miz. At least that didn't happen again this time. And Randy Orton make a statement for Rey Mysterio going into the chairs match on Sunday. And Randy Orton does brought up an interesting point for the men's in the WWE because the three toys that the men will be dealing with on Sunday, TLC, tables, ladders, and chairs. But not only the men will be handling it, but the women's as well. And just like that, Rey Mysterio came out of nowhere and attacked Randy Orton with a steel chair because on Sunday the chairs are legal but the match must end via pinfall or submission and the first time when we seen a chairs match it was back in 2009 like nine years ago and the chairs match was first tested out between Batista and The Undertaker but now we're going to see this again it's chairs match on Sunday between Rey Mysterio and Randy Orton. Jeff Hardy and Rusev victorious against Samoa Joe and the United States Champion Shinsuke Nakamura. And finally the main event. Well it was a vicious match between the between Asuka and Charlotte Flair. And the last time when these two met it was back at WrestleMania 34. And Charlotte Flair ended 
Asuka's two and a half year winning streak. And unfortunately, at the end of the match, at the end of the match, Charlotte Flair ended. Well, Charlotte Flair got herself disqualified by using that kendo stick on Asuka. Well, because on Sunday, it's Charlotte Flair, Asuka, and Becky Lynch in a first ever TLC match for the SmackDown Women's Champion. So that's what's going to happen on Sunday in five nights or five days. So that's the results for SmackDown Live last night. And Asuka has problems with The Miz on Mix Max Challenge last night. And that's why R Truth and Carmella emerged victorious. So now R Truth and Carmella will take on Jinder Mahal and Alicia Fox at TLC on Sunday. Well, that's all I have to say. Goodbye. As always, keep it real, my peeps, and stay in school.